before we go, I just want to take a moment here uh, to say goodbye to a fantastic broadcaster that I had the honor to meet a few times, Morley Safer, who worked at 60 Minutes since 1970, an amazing broadcaster, and sadly died this morning. And um, I got to meet him a few times. The first time I ever met him was when he was the correspondent who profiled me on 60 Minutes in the first year of the old show, The Colbert Report. And the first time I met him, he was standing outside of Sony's studios at 54th and 10th Avenue. And he was leaning against the wall, uh, smoking a cigarette, wearing a checked sports jacket like he was reporting on the Belmont Stakes from 1972. <laughs> wearing a cravat or something like that. And he took a puff off his cigarette and threw it under his shoe and stomped it out like he was James Dean. And he goes, Morley Safer. And it was such an honor to meet him. And the last time I saw Morley was just a few months ago in the elevators over at CBS. And he's going down in the elevator, and he's got another cigarette in his hand. And I think he's about to spark up an actual cigarette. And then he takes a puff, and I realize it's got a blue light on the end. And it's actually a vaping pen. And I said, Morley, you kind of you threw me there. I didn't realize you had a vaping pen. You look like you're from the future. And he said, Stephen, I am the future. And got off the elevator. But the middle time, the middle time that I met Morley Safer was at the last show of our first year in 2006 on the old show. And we did something called Guitar Mageddon, which was a sh guitar shred off between me and the Decemberists. And we needed to make the show important. We needed to have the gravitas that it deserved. And so Morley Safer did the opening to our show as only Morley Safer could. I'm Morley Safer. If there's one passion in this country, it is music, the universal language. If there's one man who inspires passion, it is Stephen Colbert, a sunburst of emotion in a time darkened by reason. In November 2006, these forces collided sending shockwaves through the American public and dividing a nation. It began as a green screen challenge. It evolved into something far more significant, a guitar solo challenge, a battle of titans. Tonight, America's last hero, Stephen Colbert, faces off against rising indie music outfit, the Decemberists. Who will rock the nation? And who will kneel before the Rasputin of riffs? Two men, two axes, Two chances to show the world who is the Socrates of Shred. That story and Andy Rooney coming up. The great Morley Safer, everybody.